So this question asks us to find the dimension and a basis for the solution space of this given system. So I have two equations of three variables. The first thing I want to do is write an augmented coefficient matrix for the system. So I'm just going to pull the coefficients from each x term. I have a column for x1, x2, and x3. And since both equations are set equal to zero, I'm going to leave off the two zeros that you would see on the side. And I want to put this in reduced row echelon form. So to start, I'm going to subtract two times row one from row two. So I'm just going to carry row one through, I'm not going to make any changes. And for the first term here, I've got 2 minus 2, which is 0. Second term, I have negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. For the third term, I have negative 1 minus 6, negative 7. And from here, I want to multiply the second row by negative 1. I'm just going to take away those negative signs. And I've got my two leading ones, but I want reduced row echelon form, so I need to clear this negative 1 out of the top row. And to do that, I'm going to add the second row to row 1. So this time I'm going to carry row 2 through. I just want to add. So 1 plus 0 gives me 1. Negative 1 plus 1 gives me 0. And 3 plus 7 gives me 10. And now I just want to write the solution for this in vector form. So I have x3, but it's going to be a free variable. I'm going to call it t. And then that leaves x2 plus 7t equals 0. x2 equals negative 7t. And for x1, x1 plus 10t equals 0, so x1 equals negative 10t. I'm just going to rewrite this by pulling a t out of each component. So I have the vector x equals negative 10, negative 7, 1. All times t. Now, for dimension, that is the number of free variables I'm working with. Here it's only 1, t, so the dimension is just going to be 1. And a basis for the solution space is just going to be the vectors that I've got in x. So here I only have 1, negative 10, negative 7, 1. So that vector is the basis for my solution space, and I'm all finished.